All right, well, as you can see, it's a little darker in the day, and yup, you got it. I finished it. And that's bullshit, I know. That, eh, you're supposed to show this what the hell you did, but no, I wasn't. You watch my shit for four wheeling repair tips, boy. I just film it because I'm bored. There's shit else to do because I can't ride. I can now. So, check out that differential. Good to go. Did not hook up the brakes because the damn caliper locked up after I ordered the fucking brake pad. So, ended up with a slew of parts I didn't need because got hooked up with that differential, man. I'm going to tell you what. $125. Hell, mine needed $100 pinion bearing gear on top of $300 in labor to rebuild the $90 rebuild kit I got. Do the math. Saved like a champ. And I get to go riding Sunday. So, um, yep. Got it, uh, got it all buttoned up. Cleaned up. Couldn't, uh, couldn't help myself. Uh, I was sweating. It was hot as hell. The sun was out. And all I was going to do is confuse myself and all of y'all, all two of you that watch it. Both y'all's asses would have been confused too, along with me. So, Get a quick look. She's uh, she's clean. She's clean, and she runs like a champ. Um, if you got any issues with a skipping when you're hitting the gas on yours, man, any kind of shit in the rear or popping the axles, it sounds like the joint in the rear drive shaft popping. If you're having any kind of problems, man, there's a damn pinion bearing in there with a set of Oh God, a gear with a bunch of bearings on it, man, that can be all kinds of shit. But quick cleanup, yeah, plastics are still somewhat shiny. Um, but it's been about three weeks since this went down, so that stuff's holding up good. I'm not gonna lie, I sprayed it. I wasn't about to fully detail the shit out of it. I'm tired. This heat took it out of me. But y'all, got it done, got it done. Oh, Frankie just had the final oil change, so I thought, bullshit. Still one more, and this time I didn't start it. I just let it all sit. So, I don't know. I guess I might do another one, but I'm about to ride some. Hey. How you doing? So, yeah. Old Frank's clean. Ready to go. Ready to see some mud. Yep. I am too. God almighty. Um. Saw something cool while I was watching. This kid got Halo LEDs on his damn 300 and he sold, said the pods were like 150 bucks. It took like two months to get them. So I might see if I can't talk to old lady and let me order some of them down the road. Down the road, of course. Because now that hers is done with the rear end, I'm going to get my buddy Chaz Co. Y'all look him up. He's out of Bladen County, North Carolina. C-H-A-Z-Z-C-O. He does custom fab work. Um, look for him. Hunt him down. He's going to do a... We're going to try to do the paddle on the axle. Uh, somehow. And uh, figure that shit out. And do a bent A-arm lift. Uh, seen a lot of mud puppy stuff. Oh, real interested in that. May have to give him a shout on the lift. But um so yeah uh, um back to the rear end <sighs> all right let me see so i was getting ready to do all kinds of stuff backwards the axle slides in from the pass the passenger side so it slides in from there there's a middle joint if you kind of flip it and look at it there's a stop right in this area right here. There's another one back here. The big one's to the back. So you go always got a little one all the way through and the big one will catch it at the end. So your axle will be a straight axle. Little knuckle here. Big ass knuckle on it. On the axle there. So went in that way. Um, kind of had this shit in here backwards for a second. Yeah, I, I, it's been too long. So if I can recommend anything... Man, do some research. Watch a video. See what the last dumbass figured out with his. Because this pulling it apart and leaving it in the yard for a fucking month, it feels like. That's bullshit. That shit made me look stupid as hell. So, I'm going to 
guess see if this is worthy of part two and a final or whatever the fuck on this ass end rebuild but basically if you got to rebuild the differential man i would look for used a good used one um especially if you do a lot of water riding uh this one <laughs> so nice i was able to put fluid in it instead of pumping it full of grease we'll see how that goes see how that lasts but now i'm gonna tell you what total different machine so if you got popping clicking jumping in the ass end it raising hell all kinds of noise that differential is probably the problem and uh so while it's playing play easy limp it pimp it down the trail and uh just go ahead and start looking because if you're getting any kind of noise in the ass end it's in that freaking differential and uh you balling on a budget like i am boy i'm gonna tell you what i hit the lottery with that so Big, big thanks to the one Mike Fowler. Sorry to call your name out, buddy, but you're the man. You saved my ass. So Mike Fowler, Hondo Wilmington, you were the man. I appreciate it. He made all this happen. Till next time.